Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Good morning, everybody. That coastal storm that you've been hearing about continues to make its way up to the north. The good news is the center of the storm and the most destructive part of the storm will stay offshore. However, we will feel some of its effects. In fact, some of those effects showing up right now on Live Pinpoint Doppler 12. I'll get to that in just a second. First of all, your weather headlines. We'll see the strongest winds through the morning. We will also see periods of rain, but by this afternoon, we'll get some lulls as well. And then strong gusts and high surf at the shore, especially across places in eastern Massachusetts. I'll get to that in just a second. First, though, here is Live Pinpoint Doppler 12. And you can see everybody getting in on the rain right now. I'm going to zoom this out, and you can see the bands of rain extend pretty far down to the south across the vineyard Nantucket. And the basic direction of all of this rain is from the southeast up to the northwest. So more of that rain will be on the way this morning. Recent wind gusts. Uh, pretty strong, 31 miles an hour in Newport, 23 miles an hour in Smithfield. In terms of coastal flood concerns, we're not really seeing much of that across the south shore of Rhode Island. This is an area where we could see uh, some problems due to those strong winds and high surf. You can see recently 31 miles an hour in Boston, 24 miles an hour in Plymouth. And in Situate, Massachusetts, I believe we have a live shot uh, from that area. That's basically located on the uh, just south of Boston, on Boston's south shore, we'll call it. And you can see the wave action pretty high right now. In this region, we could see a storm surge between 1 and 2 feet and waves out over the op open water between 10 and 15 feet. So some splash over across some of these beach walls is possible in this region this morning, but for our viewing area, we're really not seeing that as much of a concern. We move on to some of our weather spotters. Jim in North Smithfield, he says it's rainy and breezy with a temperature of 51 degrees. I believe I just skipped by Kelly Cooper's report by accident. Sorry about that, Kelly. She's reporting similar temperatures with some uh, rainy conditions in Westport, Massachusetts. 55 in New Bedford right now, 57 westerly, 54 Smithfield. Colder here in Worcester, Massachusetts with a temperature of 45 degrees. And during periods this afternoon when it's not raining, we'll actually see fairly mild temperatures. We'll make a run at the upper 50s, maybe low 60s today. That is above normal for this time of year. So that's the silver lining of today's forecast. Here is the negative part of today's forecast. You can see more moisture continues to trickle in from the south. That will be the trend of this morning. And as I mentioned, the center of the storm still well down to our south. You can see it's still offshore from Virginia. And the center is really not going to make its way very close to us. It will actually fall apart this afternoon and push away by this evening, leaving some mist and drizzle in its wake. We break this down hour by hour with our future cast. 8 o'clock this morning, some of that rain will be heavy at times, denoted by the yellow you're seeing here on the map. By early afternoon, notice how some of the rain and showers start to break up. Here's where I am expecting some lulls in the precipitation, and then by, then by late evening into early tomorrow morning, we'll be stuck with the low clouds, maybe some fog and drizzle, but the steady rain will shut off by this point. And into Sunday, more low clouds, especially during the morning, but the rain will be over with. So I think by Sunday afternoon, we're in pretty good shape, at least in avoiding the rain. Maybe a little bit of sunshine by late Sunday. As for this afternoon, periods of rain, the winds will start to slacken. And during periods where the rain is not coming down, temperatures making a run at the low 60s today. 60 year high in Newport, 59 in Wickford, 60 in Westerly, and 60 in Charlestown with a gale warning out over the water. So even though we're not under a coastal flood advisory for our viewing area, still very choppy waves out there, a gale warning. You're urged to keep those boats at dock today. Upper 50s for Northern Rhode Island, upper 50s for the Cape as well, 58 Hyannis, 59 in Taunton, and 58 in Plymouth. The strongest wind gusts will be between 30 and 35 miles an hour out across the Cape, a little bit less than that for Rhode Island, and those winds will tend to taper off as we go into the afternoon. Now for Sunday, low clouds around, especially during the morning, highs in the low 60s, possibly a little bit of sunshine late. Monday looks good with mostly sunny skies and a high of 61, cooler and drier for the middle of the week with temperatures in the mid-50s, and then a few extra clouds on the way for the end of next week. Possible rain for next weekend, but you know what? Let's take one right. weekend at a time. Let's get rid of today's rain first before we start worrying about next weekend. Right. And Good advice, Pete. If you want the latest updates on your weather, you can always tune into Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So the good news is, you know, all the problems they've been seeing down to our south in the Mid-Atlantic, we're not going to see anything like that around here today, but still a little bit rocky along the shore. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Yeah.